Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first um, card is the Nine of Cups. So it looks, uh, this has got um, uh, Uranus in uh, Pisces there. So it looks like it's in your sign. There might be sudden happenings that come along. Uh, but the Nine of Cups is generally a card of satisfaction. It's a card of achievement. Uh, of goals. So whatever situation you're dealing with, there is, um, you have the advantage. So it looks like uh, things are going to be going your way uh, this particular week, or are, they're starting to anyway, uh, things are turning around. You've got the Princess of, sword of Swords over here. So you've been, um, and it's in the winter season. So it looks like, you know, you've been going through a very, very miserable time. Uh, and, you know, you're very, very lonely, taking up uh, you're trying to to put out your message there, um, you know, facing a lot of bad luck recently, it seems, uh, and you're standing alone, standing very independently. So this card is showing that you've been through a lot and uh, you are trying to recover. You are trying to make plans for the future as well. You can see this woman looking into the future um, and trying to make some plans. And you've got the Ten of Swords over here um, at the bottom, so it looks like you are coming to an end of this difficult cycle. So you've been through a lot. You may have gone through a lot of, uh, you may have gone through some legal battles and you are now putting an end to that particular cycle. The, the worst is all over at the moment. You faced a lot of problems. You can see from the four corners, there has been uh, negative energies, people saying things, things coming from all directions at you. You've been trying to find your balance. It's been a very, very harsh period that you've been through. So you are now ending that particular cycle with that Ten of Swords. So in the past, you've got the Eight of Wands over here. So this is about things starting to move. So things have been taking off, uh, you know, and you have been focusing your energy on trying to get things moving as well. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over here. So it looks like you have been focusing a lot on your finances and on your work as well. So um, it looks like money has been coming in. You've got the Taurus sign over here, uh, and it looks like Venus in Taurus. So it looks like, uh, you know, money has been starting to trickle in slowly. So going into the future, you've got the Three of Wands over here, and this is about, um, you know, meeting people, collaborating with people, um, you know, um, putting out any projects. So you're starting things, and you're working together with people. It's it's a lot about uh, focusing on your work and, uh, um, you know, communicating a lot to a lot of people. There might be some travel that is indicated as well here. And then you've got the Two of Wands over here. So working on that particular project, you might be working with somebody as well. Um, but it's also, you've got the sun here in um, um, Aries. So this is about focusing on yourself, focusing on your work, just being very, very single-minded about what you're going to be doing. So that's very important. You've got the two and the three of wands over here. So whatever projects you have, you've got to put all your attention onto it and you've got to put all your energies into it. And you might be working with a lot of people soon, so a lot of communication, and there might be some travel coming up for you as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to use the Tower of the Spirit World to do the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Six of Swords over here. So this is, as you can see, sailing away from any kind of problems that you've been having. Uh, you know, you ha are leaving, you're trying to leave those problems behind, and you are moving away uh, from any kind of difficulties that you have been facing. So this is quite a positive card. This shows that whatever you have gone through, uh, you know, even though the seas are not quite calm right now, it seems like, you know, you're setting sail for, for better, calmer waters, it seems. So whatever you have been faced, you can see this angel carrying these swords. So you're giving it up uh, to the divine. You're letting go of your problems and you're starting to move forward. 
So let's see what's happening with you. You've got this uh, knave of pentacles over here and it's crossed by the hermit. So you might be thinking of doing some study. You can see this man sitting with a book over here and, you know, study that is going to improve your finances eventually. So you are maybe you're getting retrained or you're taking up some course uh, that will improve your skill set in order for you to move forward. This could also be you receiving some kind of message about money or finances. But if it's placed next to the hermit, it looks like, you know, the hermit being ruled by um, Virgo, which is the card of focusing on your work. And it's also a card of um, learning. Um, it seems like you have a new vision about what you want to do and you are being guided. You can see this hermit's got that lamp. You are taking um, you know, your control back, your power back, and maybe doing this extra study or this extra work. You've got two lamps here. You're being enlightened. So he's sitting by the lamp and he's carrying a lamp in this uh, hermit card. So you are being enlightened by whatever you're learning and it's allowing you to make uh, plans for the future and you've got a nice big sun over there so things are going to turn for the better once you start improving uh, your skill set once you start improving uh, your knowledge base so you might even need to be doing some research even if you're not doing any extra courses you know just going on the internet or even just reading some books uh, is going to help it's going to help tremendously and it's going to help you improve your finances as well so it's good to read around the subject read around your work and get some brand new ideas and study seems to be the thing that's going to be opening the doors for you. So in the past, you've got the Ace of uh, Wands over here. So there you are, having gone through a lot of difficulties and starting off a new cycle. Uh, you can see there may have been some kind of choice that you had to make. Uh, and this man is very old and he's, he's got, you know, he's very bent. So you have been really, um, you know, life has really uh, been working on, on you in a, in a very harsh kind of way. So, uh, you know, now you have this choice and you are now taking a stand or you are now moving forward with your new ideas. You've got a lot of information. You've got a lot of knowledge uh, that you're carrying. This man is really old. So he has learned a lot from life lessons and this has allowed you to make decisions. So this is what's been going on in the last year. You made a decision about how you want to move forward. And you've got the sun over here. So having gone through a very, very difficult time, it seems like, you know, there is... Uh, you can see this man is crawling through the desert and uh, finally reaching the water. So it looks like whatever hardships you have gone through, you're finally seeing, uh, you know, the oasis in the desert. You're seeing the water in the desert. And it's not a figment of your imagination. It's absolutely the truth. So that means that, you know, whatever um, change is coming is going to be positive and it's going to be something concrete. It's not something uh, that's based on wishful thinking. So you're finally having gone through a lot of you know, gone through the desert of your life, a lot of dryness, a lot of, uh, you know, where uh, lack, it looks like, you know, you've managed to crawl through that difficulty and you are now reaching, um, you know, uh, salvation. You're reaching that water. Um, so things are going to start improving. And it's been, a, you know, it's been a very, very harsh journey. So what's on your mind? You've got the tower over here. So you have been through a very, very difficult period. You can see this man's carrying his head with him and there's a lot of fire in the background over here. So it looks like, you know, whatever it was that happened completely, um, you know, um, upset you. It completely caused a lot of problems. It, it affected your thinking. It affected the way you were looking at things. Maybe you even felt like you were disconnected from what was going on. So there was a lot of, uh, you know, emotional things. You were doing a lot of thinking. But also, you know, it, it was almost like, um, you know, uh, you were standing back and looking at it like almost like an out-of-body experience, if you like. And there was a lot of drama there. Um, so it's, it's meant that, uh, you know, you've almost, it's taken you to that edge. And this is why this has been on your mind. So you're worrying about whatever happened in the past. You're still thinking about it quite a bit. You've got the five of swords going into the future over here. So you're still dealing with very, very difficult people. They held you a prisoner, so you were kept in the dark. You can see this man's eyes uh, have got blindfolds on. And even though he was trying to wield his sword, the truth had been kept from him. So, and people have uh, taken advantage of the fact that they managed to hide the truth. So there was a lot of vindictive behavior that was going on around you. It seems like people were, uh, you know, took advantage of you, celebrated the fact that they uh, won the victory, and they kept you in the dark about what was going on. And, you know, you didn't have any, you couldn't fight back because you couldn't see uh, 
things coming at you. So you were, you know, whatever uh, had come at you was almost a, a surprise attack. So it seems like, you know, uh, there were a lot of nasty people that you were dealing with. And maybe they were doing things behind your back and you didn't know it was coming. So what's happening with you? You've got the high priestess over here. So this is about, um, you know, having, um, keeping things to yourself. It's also being guided. Maybe spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, you've got um, a lot of um, greenery over here. So, uh, you know, you're starting to recover from what is going on. But also your strength is coming back. And it is time, you are relying a lot on your inner um, intuition. It is uh, your card, the High Priestess. So it looks like, you know, you are being divinely guided as well. And um, this card it also indicates study. So this might be a time for you uh, where you're thinking of actually doing this study or you're engaged in some kind of uh, study. So it could be uh, something to do with work, but it also could be something higher where you're doing, um, trying to uh, improve uh, or, you know, you're trying to change the way you think about things. And maybe you're reading up a lot about spirituality or, um, you know, um, what your purpose is. So you are definitely going within and trying to find the answers to all the problems. You're not asking people for help. Uh, you're trying to find the solutions within yourself. So it's very important for you to rely on your intuition for that particular card. And Pisces is very, very intuitive. And this is where your answers will come from. So what's going on around you? You've got the temperance card of Oh, sorry, the Empress card over here. Uh, so things are starting to improve. Um, you know, you are... Um, uh, you know, things are, um, this is the card that is ruled by um, Venus. So things are starting to, to get better. It looks like, you know, you're in, in your environment, um, you know, you might be getting uh, more material wealth coming in. So it might be uh, you reaching a more stable place as far as your living conditions go, as far as your working conditions go. Uh, abundance is coming to you with this Empress card. It's also showing that, you know, people are seeing you as somebody that's starting to take control of the situation because this is how the, the world sees you as well, as being an abundant person and somebody who's very much in charge. What you're afraid of, uh, you've got uh, the Ten of Swords over here. So this is uh, being, um, you know, afraid that the situation has completely destroyed you. And this is what you're worried about. So, you know, because you have been, um, you know, um, you've got this card of the uh, the tower over here where this man has lost his head, uh, you know, where the situation was so bad, everything was destroyed. You are so worried that destruction will come again and you won't be able to get out of that situation. So this is in your hopes and fears. This is not necessarily what is happening. But also this card is showing that, uh, you know, um, the worst is over. Now, going to the future, you've got the Seven of Cups, you've got the Ten of Cups, and you've got the Three of Spades over here. So with the Seven of Cups, it's being given an opportunity, given an offer. Uh, you can see somebody bringing this man a cup over here, and, and he's got a lot of options available for him. So he's got five cups over here and two options available. One is coming in as a material uh, offer, so this could be money coming in, a new job coming in, something coming in, and one is coming in as the divine. So it shows that, and, and this angel is wearing um, armor. So it shows that, uh, you know, you are getting divine protection uh, and there is something that is coming in, uh, an unexpected um, divine intervention as well. But also you could be getting an offer, some kind of offer coming in for you. It's important for you to consider that offer as well. You've got the Ten of Cups. If you consider the offer, it looks like, you know, you will achieve everything that you need. Um, and you can see you will achieve, um, you know, um, this is... Um, the end of hardships, but the beginnings of, uh, you know, um, happiness. And you can see there's two cups being offered over here. So maybe a good friendship coming in. There's even could be a new relationship coming in. So whatever offer is coming in is something to accept because uh, it's sitting next to the Ten of Cups over here. So it's almost as though, you know, the Ten of Cups is giving you that offer. So it's giving you an offer, um, you know, to make all your dreams and wishes come true. So some really good offer coming in for you. <clears throat> and it could be in the form of a relationship. But it is the end of difficulties, the end of a difficult cycle as well. You've got the Three of Swords over here, so it is time to get, uh, you know, over whatever heartbreak you are going through. So you have, um, you know, been very, very upset about what had happened. Uh, there is a choice to make over here. You can see this man's got two swords over here. Um, but there is a choice to make. You are, 
you can see he's blocking his heart chakra over here so it looks like you know you are very very defensive about uh, even meeting new people uh, but it looks like if an offer comes in for you it's going to be a good one uh, it might be a you know in the form of a um, love relationship or it could be in the form of a really good friendship coming in for you and it is time for you to accept it because um, this will help you get over this heartbreak that you've gone through in this three of spades okay so I'm going to just draw some cards from the animal tarot <clears throat> This is for the Oracle read. So you've got the Princess of Winter over here, uh, which is, uh, this is an intellectual challenge that calls for your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. So it looks like some kind of message of truth coming in for you that's going to get through you through your problems. You can see these birds flying away from the clouds over here. So whatever information you're either working with or receiving at this particular moment, you can see this. these are two cards about information. Um, you know, you've got the Knave of Pentacles over here. This is about study. It is about information. And this Hermit deals with study and information. So whatever information is coming in for you, even with this Princess of Winter, is going to help you put away the clouds behind you and move forward. The skull's flying with a crown on his head. So it looks like, you know, it will give you the edge. It will make you victorious in whatever the situation or battle is. This could also be getting some legal news, but also being victi victorious in that legal situation that you might be dealing with. You've got the Seven of Summer over here so it's time to stop procrastinating make a decision so that you can move forward without uh, with a priority if you need to do more research then do so but oh don't overthink the situation and listen to your heart so uh, not only is this a very cute card this is a card that is saying that you need to start taking some action and make a decision and uh, move forward so have a goal start deciding what you want to do and go for it and research before you you make any kind of big moves You've got the Nine of Spring over here, which says you've worked hard and what you have created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry, you'll get through them just as you have in the past. So with the Nine of Spring is whatever problems are coming your way, you are going to be able to, uh, you know, get away from it. You know, hop away from it. This is a gazelle. So don't stand over, uh, around, um, you know, waiting for people. Uh, don't fight with people uh, or engage people uh, uh, with their negative energies. It's time if you, you know, learn how to pick your battles, in other words. So if anybody gives you any grief, uh, rather move away from it. Because the gazelle, they run away very, very quickly from any, any kind of problems. At the slightest, uh, you know, rustle of the leaves, they're gone. So if anybody is giving you any grief and there's any negative energy that you have to deal with, instead of standing there and, um, you know, giving them your energy, move away from it very quickly. And uh, any kind of obstacles, this is how you do it. You move away from it very quickly. Uh, don't engage pe with people that are going to be drawing energy or stealing energy from you. You need to save your energy uh, because if there are any other problems that you have to deal with, you need that, to use that energy to deal with that problem. So don't give people your energies unnecessarily. Keep your energies to yourself. So if there's anything coming that um, you know upsets you, just walk away from it rather than actually standing there to engage. Make a plan as well with this uh, Seven of Summer. And there is some news coming in for you that's going to be, uh, you know, allow you to move away from any kind of difficult situation you've been dealing with, with that Princess of Winter there. So if it's legal news, uh, you know, you will be even victorious because you can see this albatross is flying uh, or this gull is flying with this... Um, crown so it's going to be something that gives you the edge over the next person and helps you cope or deal with things so you were dealing with very very difficult situations it might have been a legal issue because it's that five of swords um and you know uh it is time for you to start using your intuition but it looks like this cycle is now coming to an end and things are going to improve with that ten of cups you are going to be given some options over here and you're going to be able to get over situations as well so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some, some comments. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.